<clears throat> the figure below shows three spinners, A, B, and C, with numbers on them, but not the same numbers, if you look carefully. Slightly different spinners. Right? If every number has an equal probability of being the sector on which the arrow stops, in other words, all of these pie slices are 120 degree angles, which you can see by just inspection. But it's nice that they're clear about that. What is the probability that the sum of the three numbers is an even number? What? It's going to seem like you need a huge tree diagram which with 27 possible sums to consider. And if you do it that way, you'll get the right answer. But your hand will be tired from writing. But 27 is not undoable. It's not, it's not a... It's not a um, terrible approach to this problem. It'll get you there. Um, it's called a brute force approach. But understanding parity is going to be so much easier. Parity means the evenness or oddness of numbers. And so there's a clever approach to this one. Um, if you look at, if you inspect the spinners and notice that B must always land on an even number and C must always land on an odd number. And if you know, and we, we may have never talked about this, but if you know that an even and an odd number, when you add them, always give you an odd number, let's try some and convince ourselves that's true. 2 plus 3 is 5. Uh, 4 plus 9 is 13. If you add an even and an odd, you'll always get an odd. And the reason is, Let's, let's look at 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 is 4 plus 8 plus 1. It's a, That odd number can always be broken up into an even number plus one more. And two even numbers, well, since you will necessarily have a multiple of two if you add two even numbers, you're, that, that extra one left over results in an odd, um, an odd sum. So if you add even and odd, you get odd. Well, that makes me wonder what happens if I add even and even. Well, that's even. Because if you add two multiples of two, it must be another multiple of two. You just have, like, if you think of, like, um, 6 and 8 is 14. Even plus even is even. Uh, but that's because this is three twos and this is four twos. So three twos plus four twos is just seven twos. So it's just another multiple of two, so it'd have to be even. What about odd plus odd? Oh, this this is odd. You'd expect it to be odd when you look at this, right? But it's actually even. And here's why. Three plus five is eight. Yeah, it is even. But that's because you've got two plus one here and four plus one here. So you'll end up with 6 plus the 1 and the 1 make another 2. So that's why you end up with even. So even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is even. Even plus odd is odd. It might remind you of the um, multiplying and dividing integers. Negative times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. So when the signs are different, you get a negative result. When the signs are the same, you get a positive result. When you're adding even and odd numbers, if you're adding numbers with the same parity, you get an even sum. When you're adding numbers with different parities, you get an odd sum. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, spinner A could be even or odd. Hmm. Oh, although the, the question is asking us the probability that the sum will be even. Well, what would I have to, um, what would I have to get on A to add to the odd? Oh, by the way, let's just think about these last two spinners as one probability. The probability of getting even on the first spinner is a probability of one. Because you can only get an even number. The probability of getting odd on the second spinner is also a probability of one. So the chance of getting an odd sum from the, the last two spinners is also a probability of 1, which is just another way of saying that's O for odd, by the way, not a 0. Um, 
the idea of getting an odd sum from adding the, the final two spinners is certain because I will always get an even number plus an odd number. I will always get an odd sum. So, so far we've got a probability of one of getting an odd for the sum of the second two spinners. But we need to figure out what would I have to add to that odd to get an even number from spinning all three spinners. Well, we just learned it would have to be another odd number. If I get an even number on the first spinner, when I add it to the odd number, the odd sum of the second two spinners, and don't forget we could associate by adding those two first, then odd, uh, even plus odd would result in odd, but odd plus odd would result in even. So really this just comes down to what's the probability of spinning an odd number on the first spinner. Well, there's two odd numbers out of three possible outcomes. So it's a probability of two thirds. Um, and when you multiply that by a probability of one, which, which is the certain probability that you will get an odd for the sum of the second two spinners, you see that the total probability of getting an odd sum for the numbers from all three spinners is two thirds. Whew, tough problem. Not, 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 I don't think it's so tough if you understand parity, but tough to explain well, which I hope is what I've just done. I've tried. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. You may have skipped around. If you happen to be watching this at the end, good job. Thank you for hanging in there. Class dismissed.